Hi, I'm Jen Miller. Welcome to the Kettlebell Workout. If you've never seen kettlebells before, they were developed in Russia by athletes who wanted to improve their explosive strength. They usually throw the kettlebells up and try to control them in motions that improve their power. And they were used in bodybuilding a lot. For us today, we're going to use them in a very specific technique, which includes some powerful thrusting actions with the hips and some stabilization with the core. I want you to watch these workouts all the way through at least once before you perform them because the technique is very different from anything you've ever seen before. It's also important to warm up before each workout. If you're going to combine the workouts, make sure that you warm up whether you're combining them or doing them alone and make sure you do the cool down and slow stretch. A couple of things before we get started. If you're new to kettlebell workouts, you'll want to use the lightest kettlebell, which is a five pound kettlebell, and it's the pink size. If you've been doing them for a while and you want to increase your intensity, go to the blue size, which is 10 pounds. And if you're advanced or you're training for an athletic event and you want to increase your explosive power, try the green. You want to have plenty of clearance around the area that you're working out in. And you want to make sure that you control the kettlebell very carefully. If you're a person that sweats a lot, you may want to use weightlifting gloves. Because some of the movements are throwing and catching and controlling of the motion going up and back down, it's very important that you stay in neutral posture and that you contract and engage the core muscles to stay stable. So I want you to sit very tall, put one hand on your belly and one hand on your back. Tilt your pelvic bowl under and then tilt it back. And somewhere in between those two points is your neutral posture. That's what I want you to maintain throughout the workout. Also, I want you to remember the power stance that we'll be in for a lot of these exercises. The knees will be bent or slightly soft. The hips will be square. And even though you're moving the kettlebell in front of your body up or away from your middle body, remember that those core muscles engage and support each other all the way around. The most important thing about this workout is that you stay stable and you stay neutral. Remember, only do what you can and progress gradually. Now, you'll want to have a glass of water or a water bottle, water bottle nearby to stay hydrated during the workout. It's very important that you drink water before, during, and after the workout because you may sweat a lot during these kettlebell explosive moves. Now, if you're ready to get started, pay very close attention to the technique, go at your own pace, and graduate as you feel ready. If you're ready, I'm ready, so let's get to the warm-up. Okay, guys, you ready for your kettlebell workout? We're going to warm up first. Now, regardless of which workout you're doing, whether you're doing workout one, two, or three, or combining any of them, I always want you to warm up, okay? So let's march it out. Right foot. Ready? Here we go. March it out. I want you to put that kettlebell right in front of you so it's centered on the floor and you see it at all times. We're going to take our feet a little bit wider, and we're going to start with some squats with our feet pretty wide apart, a little wider than shoulder distance. We're going to reach reach and pull and reach. Sit back now guys. I want you to think about a good squat here because we're going to use a lot of squat movements in our kettlebell workout. So keep your knees bent over your feet. Reach out in front. I'll turn to the side so you can see this a little bit better. Remember that the knees bend right over the feet. And in a kettlebell workout, all the power comes from right here. This is your power zone. So we're going to practice a few things. Four more. Here's three. In two more, you're going to hold it down and lace your fingers together right here. Reach through your legs and pull it up. Reach, pull. Hold it right there. Do it again. Reach, throw your hips and pull. I'll show you from the side. Reach, throw your hips and pull. See what that looks like? Reach, throw your hips and pull. Let's do a few more. Reach, throw your hips and pull. And that's where all the power comes from, your hips. Good. Bring those arms down, shake it out. That's it. Come on down here, turn your toes out, sink down into this rotary stretch. You're going to look over your right shoulder and twist. 
Oh yeah, that feels good to that middle body right there. All those muscles are intertwined to give you that strength in your core. Swap sides. Look over that left shoulder. Get that nice rotary stretch in there. Keep your abs pulled in tight. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Bring it right down here. Now go ahead and let your hands touch the kettlebell. I want you to straighten your legs out and just shift your weight side to side, okay? Just with straight knees, fingertips on the kettlebell, just shift your weight side to side. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it right here. Lean into that right leg and reach out with one hand. Nice job, guys. This stretches the inner thigh, pushes the hips back. Swap sides. Put your hand on this leg. Reach out with this hand. Get a good inner thigh stretch right there. Good. Bring it back to the center. Round it up slow. March it in. Right leg starts. Bring those feet together. Good. Now take your right arm up, straight up from your body, and down. Now your left arm straight up. Now when you're throwing the kettlebell with your arms, watch. You'll arc it up and catch it. So watch again. You arc it up and catch it. Let's try it. Ready? Here we go. Arc it up and catch. Good. Other side, right here. Arc it up and catch. Nice. Two more right here. Arc it up and catch. Good. And each time you catch, you'll start in a different position and you'll finish in a different. You might come up and then come to here, or you might just come to here and hold. Let's just reach all the way up with this arm, all the way up, and then bring it down slow, and all the way up, and bring it down slow. Good. Reach behind your back here. Pull. Gently lace your fingers together, and you're going to pull down. Nice. Drop your chin. Shoulders go away from your ears, and stay right there. Good job. Shake it out. All right. Let's take those feet wide again right here. Hold it here. And settle down. Nice. I want to talk to you about neutral spine right now. So while you're holding that position, I want you to tilt your pelvic bowl under, then release it. While you're here, tilt the pelvic bowl under and release it. Now somewhere between all the way to the front and all the way to the back is your neutral spine. It's about right there. And that's where I want you to use your low back, the power of your hips and legs to throw that kettlebell up. Not arched forward, not pooched back in that neutral spine. So reach lift, reach, lift, reach, lift. You ready to try it with me? Here we go. Reach through, lift, reach through, lift, reach through, lift. That's it. Hands are going to go a little higher. Up. That's a kettlebell throw, and that is the hero movement of these workouts. Let me have two more. Push. Last one. Hold it. Nice, bring those arms down. You're gonna turn to one side, you're gonna reach and pull. You're gonna reach and pull. Now, notice that my front leg has a knee that resides right over that foot. And you're just like reaching down for the lawnmower and pulling it up behind you. And if you want to, you can look. That gives you a little balance option there. Reach and pull. Three, two more. Last one, best one, hold it right here. Turn this foot sideways, turn this one out a little bit more, and reach over to the side. <sighs> Good. Now circle around to the front. Take this leg forward and this leg back, and then reach and pull. Ready? Reach and pull. Notice that this knee never bends past that toe. And each time you reach and pull, you have the option of looking at the hand as a balance option or keeping your head straight down. It's your choice right there. Good. It's almost like you're starting the lawnmower. One more. Good. Hold it right here. Bring it around to the center. Good. Sink down there for just a second. Turn your toes straight ahead. Round it up slow. Good. You're going to march it out. Right leg. Bring it in. Nice. All right. I want you to go ahead and pull those abs in. Shoulders back. Chest lifted. Grab some air. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Now, before we get started, remember, always warm up between before any of these workouts. And remember, you have options for kettlebell weight. You can use a lighter kettlebell, a medium kettlebell, or a heavier kettlebell, depending on your fitness level and goal. You may want to use gloves if you're a person who sweats. 
So put some good weightlifting gloves on so you can absorb that sweat. All right, you ready for your workout? Dial it in now. Keep those feet moving. Okay guys, you ready for your first workout? Listen to that music for a couple of seconds. Hear the beats. You don't have to stay on the beat. Kettlebell throws are to be done to your own body's rhythm and remember the hip throw. We're gonna practice a couple of times. Lace your hands, reach through your legs. Ready? Reach, throw, reach, throw. Good rhythm guys, keep that rhythm and listen to what I have to say. As you're throwing, remember the hips push so that you Take the weight with the drive and the power of your legs and your hips and your glutes above your head. Remember when you get up there, don't arch. Just let the weight hover for a second and then come back down. One more. Hold it. Good. All right, if you're ready, reach down, feet apart, grab your kettlebell, fingertips in, thumbs here to hold, chest out, shoulders back, neutral spine, let's reach through. Ready? Reach. And just swing, reach, swing, reach, swing. And a little higher each time, use those hips, reach, swing. And gradually, if you're ready, take that weight all the way up and over your head. Reach, swing. I'm going to turn to the side, reach. You don't turn to the side, you stay right there. I'm just showing you this version so you can see how the hips power through the move those abs pulled in now don't arch your back at the top of the movement keep your elbows soft keep your head your neck your chest and shoulders in line with that spine this will start to wind you in a minute because all the power is coming from the back of your legs there you go stay with it I need two more from you here's one here's another one hold it up Woo. Good, bring it down slowly. Now push overhead, push. Knees bent, toes turned out. We're gonna go ahead and do some shoulder work right here, because we can. There it is. Take that weight right above your head and back down in front of your chest, or in front of your face, which is ever, whichever is more comfortable for you. Let's get six more, six. You don't have to push your forefingers into the kettlebell quite so tightly here. Just have those fingers there to stabilize that bell. Two more. One more. Good, hold it right here. Slowly bring it down to the ground. We're gonna start again. Second set of kettlebell throw. Reach through, reach through. Just to there. Use your hips, throw. Right here, throw with your hips. Good. Go a little higher. Remember to keep a nice, secure grip on that kettlebell. Drive through with the hips those abs pulled in. Maintain a nice neutral spine. Remember we talked about that? Don't let your back round. Don't arch. Use your hips. Think about your hips driving through this entire movement. Push. Good. I'm going to turn to the side. You stay there. Right here. Push. Here. Push. That's it. Push. Good. Can I have six more? Here's six. Here's five. Drive. Four more. That's it. Breathe. Two more. Best form here. Best form. Last one. Hold it up. Ugh. Good. Bring that weight down right here. Turn it. Grab here. Take your feet almost straight ahead. Knees soft. Chest open. Shoulders back. Watch. We're going to do an upright row. Breathe. Here. Nice, here, good. Now I'm gonna rock side to side. You're gonna watch me first. Keep that kettlebell moving. I'm gonna toe tap, come back down, toe tap, come back down, toe tap, come back down. And then I'm gonna swing it slightly out to the side. Try it, swing, just a little. Swing, good, swing, swing. Make a circle. Swing, there you go. Swing, two more. Swing, last one. Bring it back to the center and slowly lower down. 
Good. Now I want you to hold this stretch. Bend forward. Round your back for just a little bit. Knees are soft. Flatten your back. Reach down. Grab your kettlebell. Point your fingers. Second set. You guys ready? Chest open, neutral spine. Let's go. Reach. Lift. Good. Now remember, uh, once again, throwing with those hips forward. And what you're really going to do is engage your glutes here. And drive with your hips. Okay, and stay in control. Push. You almost let the kettlebell come down by itself and then catch it as it goes back. So catch it. Drive. Toes slightly turned out. Drive. Keep those hips pushing through. Tighten the glutes. Remember, if you start to feel this in the back or it's too much for you, go down in your weight, do less repetitions, or just pre pretend to do it without the kettlebell. Good. Six more, guys. Six. Coming back to you. Five. Four. Three. Two more. There you go. Last one. Hold it up. Oh, bring it down. Good. Hold it here. Step right here. Other side. Step. Good. Step. Push. Step. Push. That's a good feeling, isn't it? Back of those legs, nice and tight. But it paying the price. All right, you hold it right here for a stretch. Watch me. Watch me. I'm going to swing and pull. Swing and pull, okay? Be careful you don't pull this kettlebell into your head, okay? So go ahead and grab your kettlebell with your left hand. Pick it up. Start with your legs apart. You're going to do a one-arm kettlebell swing and curl it up. Ready? Swing through. Close and curl. Good. This is why you watch this video all the way through at least once time. One time before you perform it. Good. Now if that is good for you, I want you to keep going. If you're feeling that a little bit too much in the forearm or the bicep, you can go ahead and do the easier version, which is to throw right up above your head, but you've got to steady it when it gets up there. Remember, it's that same good mechanic through the middle, using the hips to throw. Good. Let me have two more. On this last one, you're going to hold it up. Hold it up. Good. Bring it down slow. Lower it down. Swing it. Curl it. Ready? Curl. Curl. That's it. Curl. Curl. Two more. Curl. Stop it. Last one. And hold it. Shake it out. Other side. You're going to swing it through and close. Ready? Swing. Right there. Swing it through. Hips are pushing through right here. Now remember, take that kettlebell just outside the head. Don't get too close. And you want to make sure you have a kettlebell that you can hold and control. So if your kettlebell is wobbling or you don't have control over it, time to pick up a lighter bell or mimic the moves. Reach way up now. Good. Right here. Push. Same hip thrust. Push. Good. Stay with that. You're six. Drive. Five. Four more. Here's three. Two more. Last one. See if you can stop it up there and hold it. Good. Bring it down. Swing it back. Curl it. Curl. Right here. Curl. Tighten that belly. Right here. Brace yourself. Curl. Remember, you're putting on the brakes with your belly. Curl. Curl. Got two more. Curl. Last one. Curl. Oh, yeah. Take your legs apart. Put the kettlebell down. You're going to shift side to side, right here. Push. All right, that was our first workout, guys. I want you to keep stretching if you need to. You want to go on to the second workout and the third workout or mix it up any way you want? That's fine. Okay, guys. We're going to start with a low back stretch. Hands braced on your thighs, roll the back up. Roll it up and lower it down. Your kettlebell is right in front of you on the floor so you can see it easily and reach it easily. And down. 
and roll it up. Good. And release. Two more like that. Roll it up. Release. Roll it up. And release it down. Good. You're going to turn toward your right side. You're going to take your right foot and bend it in a semi lunge. You're going to reach and row. So you're going to reach and row. Reach and row. Good. Two more practice ones. Two more practice. Now here's how it gets more intense. Reach and throw. You'll be having a kettlebell in your hand, so that's going to be harder. Remember not to jerk the elbow out to the side, but just throw. Use your hips to push. Remember to push. And then if you want to make it really tough, you're going to reach and look right here. Remember to keep your hand on the thigh for support. Give me two more. So we've got a hard, harder, hardest coming up right there. Reach. Grab your kettlebell. Line up your lunge. Let's just row first. Row. There it is. Row. Now I want you to go ahead and let the kettlebell swing a little bit. Then I want you to stop at the top of the movement. So push. And notice the leg is just holding here. In just a second, you're going to extend the leg as you come up a little bit. Looks like this. Push. Don't completely lock it out. Just push. There you go. Push. Just a little bit. Keep the hand on the thigh, not too close to the kneecap. Push. Good. Push. Next, you're going to throw the kettlebell behind you. Here. There it is. Here. And that back leg is perched on the forefoot, and you're controlling most of the motion with that front leg. Okay, remember not to lock out the elbow, but to pull and swing. Next, you're going to reach a little higher. Look if you like. That's really tough. And you got to watch where you're swinging that kettlebell because you got a shin right there <laughs> in front of you. That's the way. Reach. Tighten through the core. Push through. Let me have two more. Two. Last one. Hold it right there. Woo! Good. Relax right there. Come on up to the center. Bring it right here. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Good. You're going to push into a long inside thigh stretch on this side. Take a couple of deep breaths. Good. You're going to reach over, get your kettlebell, put it by this foot. We're going to practice first. You're going to reach and row. Reach, row. So you've got one hand on this thigh supporting you as you pull. And remember, the leg doesn't move. And then as you get a little bit stronger, you can push in to a little bit of an extension, but you want to keep that knee soft on that front leg. Remember, the next motion is to punch back. So you're going to reach, punch, reach, punch. Now remember, you can adjust the foot distance from the front heel to the back toe anytime you want. Remember, using the kettlebell that you can control with your core. And then finally, if you want to, guys, you're going to reach and look, reach, look, reach. And that's a real balance challenge there. And the way to accomplish that is to keep those muscles tight. Use those powerful leg and hip muscles to control it. Let me have one more. Now grab your kettlebell. Let's just row. Row. Right there. Nice. Back knee is slightly bent. Chest is open. Shoulders are back. In four more, all you're going to do is take this kettlebell and swing it slightly behind you using the power of that leg. Let's go. Pull. Let it swing a little bit. Pull. There you go. Pull. Using the power of the hips. Good. Four more. Four. Control the swing. Very important. Keeping those middle muscles nice and tight. Good. Now swing and reach right here. Swing and reach. There you go. Remember, the elbow doesn't lock at the top of the movement. It's all one fell swoop of a swing. All one fell swoop of a swing. <laughs> Two more. That's it. Now you can swing and reach. Here it is. Reach and look, and there's your balance option. Remember to control that kettlebell, especially on the way down, because you got a really thin bit of skin <laughs> covering that shin. And you don't have to look every time. Last one. Good. And right there. Hold it. Come back to the center. Bend this leg and get an inside thigh stretch. Breathing. See if you can reach over and bring your kettlebell right in front. Good. Come back to the center. Walk this foot in. Give me a nice rotary stretch. Inhale. Turn to the right. Enjoy that rotary stretch. Breathe. Other side. Inhale. And exhale. 
Nice. Back to the center. You're going to stand up, grab your kettlebell, lift gently. Tiny presses right here. Put the kettlebell in your left hand. We're going to lift our left knee, and we're going to we're going to pass the kettlebell under it. Ready? Let's try it. Pass it under. Good. Other side. Do it again. Kettlebell. Pass it. Pass it. Pass it. Good. Pass. Pass. Let me have four more. If you've got nails, uh, watch them. Two more. Last one. Hold it. Tiny press is right here. You're going to take this kettlebell and you're going to take it into big circles around your body, passing it from this hand to this hand. Ready? Here we go. Pass it. Tighten your core. Bend your knees. Abs are pulled in. Now, this may not seem like much of a movement. But this will really challenge your middle muscles. Good. Now, you don't have to go with the music. You don't have to go slow or fast. You're just circling that kettlebell around. There you go. That's it. Good. Stay with it. Four more. Three, two, and hold it in this hand. Tiny presses. Nice job. We're going to do the same thing to the other side. You're going to pass the kettlebell under this knee to this hand. Are you ready? All right. Here we go. Pass it under. Do it again. There you go. Pass it. Try not to let the upper body come down to meet the kettlebell, but instead bring the kettlebell up with your lower body and your arm strength. So you got to lift that leg pretty high and watch out for those nails. Four. That's it. Two more. Last one. Hold it here. You're ready to give me those circles? Go. Circle. That's it. All the way around your body. Remember, you don't have to stay with the rhythm of the music. Do not drop the bell. Do not drop the bell. That's it. Keep those core muscles tight. Knees are soft. Abs are in. Stay right there for four more. Here's four. Here's three. They're double circles, too. <laughs> Last one and hold it. Tiny presses. Nice job. From here, you're going to take one leg back and bend over. Bend. And up. Again, bend. And up. Keep that chest lifted. Keep those shoulders back. Good. Again, bend. And lift. Four more right here. And push right through that glute. That's it. Two more, guys. Bend and lift. Last one. Pass it to the other side. Good. Hold it right here. Tiny presses here. Good. Same thing on this side. We're getting ready for an exercise that incorporates a lot of the moves you just did together. So we're going to start by just bending a little bit and coming back up. And remember when you bend, the hip goes back, the chest stays lifted. Here to go. Bend and up. Use that rump. Good. To lift up out of the movement. Keep the chest open and pitched forward. Head and neck in line. Good. That's it. Can I have two more? Take it down. That's it. One more time. And come on up. Pass it to the other hand. Tiny presses right here. I want you to watch me first while you hold these presses. And go ahead and cradle your kettlebell right into your tummy while you watch. Watch. I'm going to pull. Tap. Then I'm going to put it back through, put my leg, and tap. You see what's going to happen? So you're going to take the kettlebell, pass it under, tap your foot back, bend over, pass it under, tap your foot back, and bend over. Here we go. Press. Here we go. There it is. Pass it. Tap your leg back, bend. Good. Pass it under. Tap your leg back, bend. Nice job. Pass it. Stay steady. Nice job, guys. Pass it under. Bring your leg back, bend, good, do it again. Pass it, nice and tall guys here. Don't bend over to meet the kettlebell. Remember, pull the kettlebell up with your arm strength, using your core to shift the weight. Good, I need six more right here, for six. Tap back, bend, extend, pass it, tap, bend, extend, pass, tap. Chest is pitched forward, head, neck, chest, and shoulders in line with that spine. You got two more for me? Pass here. Last one. 
Here. Good. Hold it right here and shake it out. Woo! Nice job, guys. Nice job. Put the kettlebell right in front. Let's go back to those upright rows right here. Pull right here. Pull. Nice. Just to the belly button. Elbows go out to the side. Nice. These are upright rows. And you're pulling your elbows out. Bring it to the rib cage next if you can go a little higher. Think about opening the chest and retracting the scapula. That means pulling your shoulders together behind you. Go to the chest if you want to go a little higher, right there. Don't arch the back at the top of the movement. Rather, I want you to think about just rolling that pelvic bowl under just a little bit to protect that spine. Two more. Last one. Nice. Kettlebell goes in this hand. Shake it out. Take a deep breath. Exhale. One more. Deep breath. Exhale. Now remember what you're going to do? Pass it under the knee. Tap back and bend over. Let's go. Pass it. Tap. Bend. Pass it back through. Tap and bend. Good. Pass. Tap. Bend. Nice job, guys. Remember that perfect posture, whether you're bending over or standing upright, is your most neutral spine or your best natural posture. Tap. Bend. Good. Pass. Tap. Bend. Nice job, guys. Keep that chest pitched forward. You got six more to go. Pass it. Tap back. Bend. Other side. Pass. Tap. Bend. Good. Here's three. Tap it back. Bend. Beautiful. Stay in that nice upright posture. Can I have two more? Pass. Tap. Bend. Last one. Tap. Good. Hold it right here. Shake it out. Woo. Good. Shake it out. Shake it out. All righty, guys. Take your kettlebell and hold the bell part in your hands. Bring it up above your head. And I'm going to turn to the side so you can see me. You're going to bend your knees, and you're going to extend the kettlebell up and down. And this is overhead tricep extension, kind of just pulling the blood up out of the lower body, giving the back a break by extending the spine here and extending overhead. Your elbows are pointed straight ahead, and they have the same amount of distance between them when they start as when they finish. Sit back into an air chair. Knees are bent. Good. Let me have six more. Six. Here's five. Hold tight. Stay secure. Let me have two more. Last one. Hold it. Good. Bring that kettlebell into your belly. Right here. Now bring it over your head. Behind you. Into your belly. Good. Over your head, sit back into those hips, behind you, and into your belly and hold it right there. Keep the kettlebell placed on your legs and sit into it. Sit into it. Stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there. And come on back up. Bend your knees and lower that kettlebell to the ground. Hands on your thighs. Take a deep breath. Round your back up. Press your belly down. Do it again. Exhale. Two more. One more. Come all the way up. Walk your feet in. Grab some air. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Bring your hands behind you. Shake out those legs. If you're ready, you can go to workout number three or repeat this one again. Watch your form. Special care. Good technique is more important than anything else. Hi guys, welcome to Kettlebell Workout 3. Make sure you warm up before this workout or any of the others. Let's just do some small presses right here. We're gonna start with some alternating rear lunges. I want you to keep pressing and watch me first. Watch me first, looks like this. Tap back right and then tap back left. You got it? So I want you to join me with that. We're gonna gradually take those legs further apart. Tap back right. Hands can come up here to counterbalance and as you step back, you're stepping back on the forefeet Abs are pulled in nice and tight. Chest is open. Your weight is centered between your legs. And if you look down right now, you'll see that the knee of the front leg is only bending to allow the rear leg to step back. And that knee stays centered over that front foot. Keep your chest lifted. Now, when I tell you to, I want you to continue this work. But the only difference is I want you to keep your hands up. OK? Give me two more. That's it. Keep your hands up now. 
and continue to lunge back right there. Kettlebell is right in front of you and it's easily accessible because in a few more you're going to pick it up. Let me have two more right here. Right foot and then left foot and hold it right here. Now put your hands on your thighs, reach down and get your kettlebell. You're going to hold it in your right hand and you're going to step back with your right foot, bring it up and cradle it. Watch me first. Looks like this. Cradle. Just going to take that same leg and step back each time. Are you ready? Abs in, chest high, let's go. Right here. There you go. It's going to try to throw you off, so I want you to maintain that good structural integrity by keeping those core muscles nice and tight and catching the kettlebell in the opposite hand for support. We're going to slow it way down, slow it way down. Catch, good, and release. Now you got to watch out by catching that kettlebell in the other hand. You're supporting it, and you're challenging the opposite hip to hold you stable. Remember, it's your choice in terms of how far you want to step back and how deep you want to go. Because the further you step back and the deeper you go, the tougher the exercise. Nice. Give me two more like that. Now we're going to take it up to a more advanced level. Watch. Next time, I want you to throw it a little bit more over the shoulder. Tighten that belly. Pull over that shoulder and release. Good. Do it again. Pull it over. Remember, you're stepping back with the right leg and you're using the kettlebell in the right hand, tossing it toward the left shoulder. Good, abs tight. Nice. Let's get four more. Right here. How you doing? Here's three. Tighten that belly. You don't want to let the hips twist or the shoulders twist out of line. It's a real challenge to stay balanced. Stay tall through the center. Good. Most advanced is to take that kettlebell a little higher, catch it up here. Nice. That's very advanced, so make sure that you've worked up gradually to this deeper lunge and this higher reach. It's called a chop, okay, when you come down, and a lift when you go up. Now, the important thing here is not to arch the back. Keep the head neck in line with the shoulders, which stay over the hip. Give me two more right here, guys. Two. Nice. Last one, best one, right here. Beautiful. Take that kettlebell behind your back. You're just going to bend over and stand up. This is a hip hinge, guys. The reason you're bending over and standing up is you're getting a nice low back stretch. Knees are soft. Chest is open. Breathe out. Good. Get a lot of that hot air out and that cool air in. And this is a great back stretch. You're going to feel this in your hamstrings and your glutes. All I want you to do when you come up now is engage the glutes and squeeze to come up. Keep those abs pulled in. Nice. Can I have four more? Here's four. And up. Here's three. Good. Two more. Remember, don't go too deep. Keep the chest open. And by holding the kettlebell behind you, pulls the scapula together. Hold it right here. The scapula is those rear shoulder blades. All right, you're going to come back to the lunge position. Put your weight right down in front of you. You're going to step back with the left foot first, and you're just going to tap. There it is. Hands come up, and you're going to gradually progress to a deeper lunge. Look down. Make sure the knee is over the foot. And remember, you graduate to the kettlebell when you're ready. Remember that those hips stay stable, and that's what allows you to throw that kettlebell up and contain it with the engagement of the core. Nice. Next time you go back, keep your hands up. Go a little deeper right here. Nice job, guys. Lunge. Good. Now, in four more, I want you to just lunge with the left leg back. Two more. Last one. Just take that left leg back and hold it for a stretch right here. Reach down. Pick up your kettlebell. Stand up. You're going to hold that kettlebell in the left hand. You're going to step back with the left leg. You'll be tossing the kettlebell into the right hand and cradling it. Ready? Here we go. Cradle it. Do it again. Cradle it. Nice. Cradle there. Good. Four more just like that. Here's four. In three more, we're going to take the same move. We're going to go a little deeper, and we're going to slow it down. Are you ready? Slow it down. Here. And here. Good. Do it again. Step back. Remember that this kettlebell goes up to the opposite shoulder, and it's reciprocated with a catch into the right hand. There you go. Nice job. I need four more from you. Here's four. Remember to keep that front knee over that foot. 
Keep those abs pulled in. And as you step back and get some distance, got to keep that weight centered between the legs. Nice job, guys. Keep those abs pulled in. Chest open, shoulders back. A little more advanced, go a little higher and catch it over that shoulder. Nice. Good. Now that's going to challenge that right hip to stay stable. In other words, stable is holding in that nice line, not twisting out or in. You start to lose your line or lose your posture, what we call neutral posture. You need to put the kettlebell down and just do the exercises without it. Just fist up. Good. I need two more like this. The final version of this goes a little higher. Breathing. Whew. Nice job. How about we go a little higher? Catch just above the shoulder. Right there. Nice. You got seven more. Beautiful. Got to step back far enough that you get some distance from the front heel to the back toe, but you don't arch at the top of the movement here. Instead, you're catching with your abs and you're giving a little push with those hips as you step back to kind of reciprocate the throw into the hand. Two more right here. <laughs> nice job, guys. Last one. You're going to take that kettlebell behind your back, grab it with both hands, hip hinge, bend it over. Good. Come on up. I'll turn to the side again. Abs are pulled in. Chest is pitched forward. You're stretching that low back out, and you're allowing the back of your legs to take some of the stress here. Breathing. Four more. That's it. Here's three. Good. Can I get two more from you? Nice. One more time. Good. Hold it right here. Tiny presses. Put that kettlebell right on your hips and hold here. The next move we're going to do is a figure eight. You're going to take your legs apart. I want you to watch this first. You're just going to hold the kettlebell here. Watch me, okay? I'm going to take the kettlebell off and around and behind that left right hip making a perfect figure eight. Are you guys ready? Here we go, right hand, pull back figure eight. Now notice that the left toe is dipping in, but I don't want your weight on your left leg. I want you just to shift your weight into that right leg, and as you give me that figure eight, all I want you to do is to push the resistance in the same line that your knee's facing, and your head is facing, and your eyes are facing. Good, let me have six more. Here's six. Good. Here's five, four, three. Remember, no weight on that left toe. Just turning those hips in. Hold it right here. I'm going to take it in this hand. Give me the figure eights here. Take that leg under. Right there. It's kind of a little Las Vegas dance there. Keep those abs in. Don't bend over to meet the kettlebell. Instead, engage the abs and fight to keep your body erect. Chest lifted, shoulders back. Good, right here, seven, six, five. Can I have four more? Here's three, two more. Last one, hold it right here. How about we go five that side, ready? Here we go, five, four, keep those abs tight, three. Good, this will really improve your tennis game. Last one, hold it right here, good. Take a deep breath. Exhale, switch hands. Give me five to this side. Here we go. Five, four. Can you guess what's coming? Two, one more. Yeah, hold it right there. All righty, we're gonna go three to that side. Hold and go three to that side. You ready? Let's go. Three, two, one more. Now stop it, hold it right there. Switch hands, give me three right here. Three. Two, one more, hold it, switch. Let's go one hold, one hold, let's go. One, stop it, right here, stop it. Figure eight, stop. That's it, four more. Here's four, three, two, last one. Hold it right here, you're gonna slowly bend over here, forward bend, knees soft, put the kettlebell down. Come on up slow, round that back. Come on down slow, melt down, belly button down, knees bent, abs in, hips back, roll it up. Good, roll it down and hold it for just a second. Turn your feet one or two steps wider, look over that right shoulder and hold that stretch.
leaning over that right shoulder. Take a deep breath and exhale. Now switch. Look over that left shoulder. Hold that stretch. Knees turned out, thumbs in. Take a deep breath and exhale. Good. Now in this plie position, reach down, get your kettlebell, hold the bell, wrap your hands around the handle and get a good supportive grip here. You're gonna do what we call an angel squat right here. You're gonna go down for three little presses, then press right up. Three, two, one, and up, and three. Now once you make sure you're stable, bring your toes a little bit more forward and your feet a little wider than hip distance apart right here, little presses. Now what I want you to do, guys, is go into a squat and when you come up, push the kettlebell off the right shoulder back and then off the left shoulder. Are you ready? Slow it down. Right here. Push. Good. Now watch the toe of the opposite leg. It's going to touch. I want you to try that on the next one right here. Deep squat. Touch the toe. Deep squat. Touch. You're keeping that kettlebell close to the body, almost touching the chest between the reaches. And if you can, look what I'm doing with my foot. Can you try that with me? Right here. Four more. Really flying all the way up, lifting the opposite leg. Keep the kettlebell. Go back to those little squats right here. Keep the kettlebell at the chest. Nice. Take it. Hold the handle. Bring it right down. Stay there. Nice. Hold that. Turn those toes and heels out and stretch down. Look over that right shoulder twist. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Shh. Other side. Look over that left shoulder. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Shh. Good. Walk your toes and your heels so they're about shoulder distance apart. We're going to go back to the angel squat. This is going to be a little trickier, a little tougher. Hold the bulbous part of your kettlebell. Nice grip. We're going to squat down slow, reach over the right shoulder, then squat down slow, reach over the left shoulder, lifting the leg. Here we go. Squat. Close. Push. Good. Squat low. And push. Nice. Now you don't have to lift that leg very high to get the exercise to work for you. All you have to do is kind of lean to one side. And what you're doing here is you're balancing on one leg, pushing those hips back, keeping those knees over the feet, keeping those abs pulled in. Kettlebell almost comes to your chest between each squat here. There you go. That's it. Then I have two more. Squat and reach and squat and reach. Good job, bring it right down to the center. Get your handle, lower that kettlebell down. Take your feet a little wider. Let's go right back into that twisting, rotating stretch to the right. Hold it, breathe, inhale, exhale. Nice, switch sides, turn. Take a deep breath, inhale, exhale and hold it right here. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go into our slow stretch. Okay guys, let's stretch this out. Regardless of which kettlebell workout you did, it's very important to do this slow stretch portion because you used a lot of power in your hips and your torso, either to stabilize you, hold you, decelerate, in other words, put on the brakes, or keep you in a, a stable position as you've moved limbs back and forth. Makes you very strong, also makes you sore sometimes, especially if you've never tried it before. So let's hold this position right here. Take the left foot, put it straight. Take the right foot and turn it out, and bring this elbow down on this knee and reach over and hold that nice long stretch right there. Keep your abs pulled in, pelvic bowl slightly rolled under. Now if you need a little more, you can either straighten the arm and straighten the leg, or you can just go a little deeper into the stretch. You decide. Don't push yourself too much. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Good. And I'm going to go ahead and straighten this leg and reach over for one final stretch. Oh, doesn't that feel great? Feels good to me. Good. Bend your leg. Bring this hand to this side. Turn the, this foot straight ahead. Turn your left foot out, and let's go ahead and take it to this side. Elbow on the thigh, reach over, abs pulled in, pelvic bowl slightly tucked under, reaching over your head. 
Now, if you want a more intense stretch, you can straighten the arm and the leg a little bit more, or you can go deeper into the stretch. You decide. Good. Deep breaths while you're holding this stretch. I'm going to go ahead and straighten. And, ah, oh, this feels very good. Get very tight hip, thigh, butt muscles in some of those power throws, like the kettlebell swing. So it's always a good feeling to get through these stretches. All right, you're going to bring it right back to the center right here. Walk your feet in right here. Bring your hands behind your back and just lean down. Now, if you don't want the pressure on your knuckles or fingertips, just fold one hand in the other or grab a thumb and pull those arms up behind your back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Abs are pulled in. Push those hips back. Nice job. Come on up slowly. Going to grab some air with the knees bent. Inhale. Exhale. Push those hands down. Inhale. And exhale right here. You're going to step back just with that right leg. Put your left foot in front right by the kettlebell and you're going to bend over stretching the hamstring of that left leg. See if you can keep the left hand on left thigh. Reach over. See if you can hold the handle of that kettlebell and press that chest a little further, using the kettlebell to steady you. Nice job, guys. Now bring that hand behind your back. Come on up slowly. Lift with your chest. Bring your feet together. Recenter. Go ahead and take your right foot out. And push your hips back, chest forward. Lean over for a nice hamstring stretch. Put the right hand on the right thigh. If you can reach down and hold the kettlebell, hold it for a little bit more intensity on that stretch. Push those hips back. Keep the chest open. Head, neck, chest, and shoulders in line with the hips. Bring that hand behind you. Come on up slowly. Good. Shake that out. Nice job. You're going to bring the left arm across the chest. Put your hand between the elbow and the shoulder. Pull back and hold that stretch. Abs are in. Stretches the back of the shoulder and the triceps. Swap sides. Bring that left arm across the chest. A little pressure behind the elbow and next to the shoulder. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Good. Shake that out. I want you to take two fingers on the left hand and pull them back. And you'll stretch through the forearm and the bicep here. Not too much of a pull, just a gentle draw back. Nice. Shake it out. Two fingers on the right hand, pull back. Hold it right there. Just gently tugging. Extending the arm. You'll feel the stretch through the forearm and the bicep. Nice job. Take the feet about shoulder distance apart. Take a deep breath. Inhale up. Place your hands and exhale down. Forward bend. Go ahead and let your hands rest on the handle of the kettlebell. Drop your head down. Lift your hips. Lean forward. Let your shoulders relax. Let your chest and back relax. Knees are soft. Bend your knees. Hands on your thighs, and roll it up slowly. Take one more deep breath, inhale, exhale. I enjoyed having you for these kettlebell workouts. Stay healthy and strong. We'll see you next time.